Hello everyone, welcome to this wonderful video. This is Tuesday, November 14th, 2.57. Today, I'm doing a World Provinces video, and this is an alternate World War II video. But, I mean, this is basically just World War II accurate, except for one thing. That the USSR collapsed early. Now, because of this, there are a bunch more countries that came out of the USSR now than there would have been in 1991 when it actually collapsed. I don't really know the reason for this. It's just I have so many variants of so many different countries in this game. It's just, you know, why not use all the ones that happen to be part of the USSR when the USSR was around. So, Russia is in a giant civil war. Um, the central, everybody from the USSR has gained independence. And I mean everybody. That means Belarus, there's like four states of it. And then Ukraine, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or so countries in Ukrainian territory. And God only knows how much there is in Russian territory. The Caucasus are as normal except... Oh. Except for the fact that Abkhazia and South Ossetia are independent. They're, they're little independence movement. Uh, excuse me. They're little independence movements in the um, in Georgia. Oh yeah, and uh, Yemen or not Yemen, <laughs> Armenia is fighting a civil war. Bro, the amount of planes that fly around here has time. All right. Next up, uh, Kyrgyzstan or Kazakhstan. I, I don't know how to pronounce this half time, dude. This thing is stupid. <laughs> but, but, um, and I'm talking about just the name, so anybody who lives there, don't be offended. Um, they're in a civil war. Kazakhstan, I know how to pronounce that one right, Kazakhstan. They're in a civil war with, with, uh, liberals. That's what they're in civil war with. The Southern Russian Federation kind of scattered, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, everything in this will take place as normal, except there's more countries. So many more countries. <laughs> so, let's get to work, folks. By the way, if I get cut off, it, it's because I have low storage. So. so, and by the way, all these videos are... Disclaimer, all these videos are for entertainment purposes only. So, originally, G Nazi Germany would split Poland with the USSR, but there is no USSR. <laughs> so, guess they're splitting it with the Belarus Belarusian and Ukrainian forces. So I guess we're doing that really quickly. Why is that there? I did not mean to do that. Alright, so now Belarus and Ukraine have expanded while Germany's on the rise. It's kind of weird, because, like, looking at that many colors all at once is... Ugh, it's crazy, bro. So, it's only a little alternate history, but... 
So 1939 is not completely over yet because the Imperialist Republic or Kingdom, sorry, of Russia and Karelia are both going to war with Finland. Shoot, I forgot to fix that. Okay, hold on, y'all. <laughs> okay, got it. So, Karelia goes to war with Finland and Imperialist Kingdom of Russia goes to war with Finland. And Finland surrenders. So Karelia got a decent amount of land, and Imperialist Kingdom of Russia got a good chunk of land out of them. Finland just... Hold on, let's take a look at Finland's borders. Oh, God, man. Yeah, let me select the island so he didn't. Oh, dude. Finland looks grim right now, bro. Alright, so. That's 1939 over with. Now 1940 comes around. And Germany attacks Denmark. And Norway. UK is told to take... the Danish colonies, so that's what happens there. And then, of course, you know, the French in, or the Germans invade the Benelux countries. Now, before they attack France, because I know they did this at the same time, but I'm going to fix this real quick. Japan attacks China. In the Sino, Second Sino-Japanese War. And I normally forget about this part. Because I'm mainly caught up in Europe. Because that's mainly where World War II took place. But, yeah. So, uh, almost done here. Because Japan took quite a bit of random stuff from Japan from China. By the way, this is not the same Republic People's Republic of China that we know today. This is the this is well, it would be the Republic of China, but now they're Taiwan. And now the PRC or People's Republic of China call themselves the Republic of China. It, it's complicated. I'll probably go over the Chinese Civil War one day, but not today. So Now for more fighting over here, because I want to do more fighting stuff over here. So, nationalism is a big problem, and everybody in Belarus, t Belarusian territory recognizes that. But the Belarusians declare war and take Minsk within a day, causing the collapse of the better Belarus. So now the Kingdom of Belarus, or Monarchical Belarusian Territory, and the Republic of Belarus, Kingdom and Republic, have to work together to quench nationalism. And that's not going so well. Not for either one. And, oh, what do you know? Well, Belarus is united under nationalism, and aids nationalist Ukraine to attack the fascists, and they do, and they win. The Republic of Ukraine is probably the strongest Ukraine, though, and knowing that the Republic of Belarus fell, then they don't really like Bel the nationalist Belarusian people, so they declare war. But instead of Belarusian nationalist Belarus attacking Ukraine, they give aid to the nationalist Ukrainians, and they do it for them. Basically, that's how that went. And, uh, the capital is captured within ease and falls, and, yeah. Alright, so. Next up, uh, the Kingdom of Ukraine annexes the communist Ukrainian territory. Luhansk 
in Donetsk annex some territories from the Islamists. And then, you know, after that, it's just easy peasy. Anyway, um, now the major powers are the kingdom and the nationalists of Ukraine. But what do you know? War breaks out, and, uh, oh, they're dead. The rest was pie, so... Now nationalism runs Ukraine as well. Now to France, because I haven't been doing this. <laughs> so let's do this. I know I'm doing the border stuff wrong, but I found this to be quicker and easier when I paint it. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier. <laughs> so now, wait a minute. Alright, so now the Germans turn France fascist. Oh yeah, and Egypt got that, or not Egypt, but Italy got that. Ah, uh, not camera. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, at least I know what that button does now. Alright, um. Yeah, actually, maybe doing face cam might be fun. Oh yeah, y'all haven't seen me in a while. Things different, for real. Alright, so, things have changed a lot. Dude, I'm different. <laughs> okay, so, now, the Germans have captured all that they want to. I'm gonna need to move my freaking face cam. Okay. Um, well, actually, that don't matter, because... Alright, so, Austria-Hungary... Er, what the heck? Alright, so, Slovakia-Hungary... And Romania and Bulgaria fall to the Germans and Yugoslavia and Greece fall to the Italians so now I mean that's not entirely accurate but it, I mean at least I know that so now around this time would be the around the time that the USSR would be attacked but uh, kind of ain't there so we're gonna move over here we're gonna just And a little bit. Wait, I need to figure out. Does it? Okay, yeah, that works now. And yes, I talk to myself. I'm not a psychopath, trust me. <laughs> Alrighty. So Japan's attacking China. I gotta do it again, because around this time they'd already done have China probably dead by now well not entirely dead because China lived after World War II but Alright, so now that that's over with, um, I, I've got to figure out this part. I'll, I'll make a part two to this when I figure out this part, but I'll see you guys later.